Not only did we include audio loops, but we also included the MIDI loop equivalents. This means that you can take the same patterns and note placements of the audio loops and apply them to any virtual or hardware instrument of your choice. Click on the upwards arrow in the content browser a few times to get back to the first level of the performer producer pack. The MIDI loops can be found under MIDI. You'll immediately notice the exact same kit folders as the audio loops, this time as MIDI loops. Remember, MIDI data is not audible. It doesn't make noise on its own. So we'll have to create a MIDI and instrument track first. Go to Project Menu, Add Track, Instrument Track. For this example, let's go to Motu, Model 12. Model 12 is Performer Light's built-in drum instrument. In the top left, choose the kit you want to hear. I'll choose Studio Kit Loud. Next, drag a MIDI loop from the content browser to the MIDI track. Notice with MIDI tracks, there's no stretch to turn on first. MIDI loops always follow the timeline. Now, press play and listen back. To change parts of the loop, double click on the clip to open the clip editor. Here, I can add, delete, move, and copy different kinds of MIDI data. Let's say I want to change the hi-hat to a ride cymbal. I just select the notes mapped to the hi-hat, and move them up to the ride. I can also add or remove MIDI notes so the loop sounds exactly how I want it. You can then change the kit in Model 12 to hear different sounds. For instance, I'll use the same loop with the Sonic Kit A patch. At this point, you can start building out your sequence. Add as many audio or MIDI loops as you wish. Here, I've changed the kit in Model 12 to the Fuji Bicycle Kit. I'm dragging in some different audio loops and adding some MIDI loops on top. Let's hear what that sounds like. Once in clip form, you can freely loop by hovering your mouse in the top right or left corner and clicking and dragging. 